Welcome back here on Prime Morning. It's Monday and we're checking out what's trending and the conversations you've been having. And uh, starting off with, uh, I got defeated. Uh, yeah, talk opens up on uh, spiritual attack. Uh, yeah, talk has opened up uh, being defeated spiritually. The musician has revealed uh, that he had an encounter with a spiritual uh, nemesis early this year. In a Twitter post, he said he got attacked, but he has been able to bounce back. And says, I got defeated early this year, but I'm back again and beware of fake friends please he tweeted according to the young rapper he's opening up on his attack because he wants to advise up uh, up and coming artists to take their spiritual lives seriously and he says i feel like advising the young ones are wishing to do music in the near future please be strong in the spiritual world too he added yeah talk has however not revealed how the spiritual attack has affected him the Ghanaian rapper after his sorry uh, remix with stormzy was mentioned as one of ghana's new music that will put uh, the country on the map with his Ghanaian drill songs. However, in the past months, Yao Tog appears to have slowed his music journey with some critics claiming that his career has taken a nosedive. The young rapper has not responded to these criticisms. However, this is a new revelation reveals that things haven't been smooth for him as expected. And we wish him all the best. Young Warlock, come back and do what you got to do for the music industry. Uh, yeah. Uh, your spiritual life is also important. Sometimes you need to make sure that you're taking a look at that as well. Now, moving on to some more stories. Uh, Shata Kapo faces legal threats uh, for claiming to be chief in English Yamanfro. Now, and the kingmakers of English Yamanfro are unhappy that the father of Shata Wali, Charles Niyama uh, Mensa, is holding himself as divisional chief in the area. Now, the traditional authorities have therefore issued a stern warning to Shata Kapo to desist from claiming that he is a chief in the area. This follows uh, how uh, Shatawali's father's name appeared in the obituary of his wife, uh, Stella Gasu, as divisional chief of English Yamanfro, with the stool name Nyomo Bay II. Now, commenting on the issue, the Mankralo of English Yamanfro, Ni Kwashiyama the uh, fourth, revealed that uh, Ni Abkrama, uh, Shatawali's father, uh, was once taken to court to sign a statement of caution to stop parading himself as a chief, yet he has refused to comply. And and that's uh, some news on Shata Wally's uh, father over there. Now, moving on, uh, let's talk about Michael Blackson, uh, who defends uh, presidential bid and says, uh, I have uh, what it takes. Uh, American Ghanaian comedian Michael Blackson is confident he has uh, what it takes to be president of Ghana. According to Mr. Blackson, uh, he does not mind re renouncing his American citizenship to run for president in Ghana. A serious st statement uh, we're not taking for joke because the comedian did not say on it on stage. Uh, he said it in an interview. Now he says, I believe that when running for president, people have to want you. Uh, Mike, we need you. Uh, we like what you believe in. We like what you're doing. We know you could be a president, a great president. Uh, you seem to care about us, to care about everybody. And I think that is what a real president is all about. It's caring about everybody, Michael said in the interview. And, uh, well, he's hoping to be the president of Ghana. And he doesn't even mind renouncing, uh, renouncing his uh, citizenship uh, in the U.S., all right? So let's see how uh, this pans out. We're going to follow up and bring you some more details on that. When he eventually decides uh, to, you know, be, to be the president or... Uh, officially announces uh, candidature. Now, away from that, Jehovah C. House, uh, Nollywood actress in shock as uh, she tours uh, Jackie Appears Mansion. Now, Nollywood as, as, uh, actress uh, Luchi Donald has been left in shock as uh, uh, she gets a tour in Jackie Appears Plush Mansion. Uh, Luchi was shocked by the luxury experience in the house of the Ghanaian actress. Upon entering one of the rooms in the house, uh, she screamed at Jehovah C. House. Oh my geez, guys, see how big says you finish work. Now, the Lollywood actress shared the video on social media, which has left some social media users also amazed. Jackie, who was uh, home during the visit of her colleague, actress happily took her uh, on a tour inside the Plash Trasaco mansion, showing off her master bedroom office halls and more. Now, the video has since been trending with so many comments, and Jackie appears is still trending as we speak right now. Check out if you've not seen it yet. God, I bet. This is huge, big sis. <laughs> oh my God. Paradise. Who is that? Heaven and earth. Oh my jeez. Jeez, guys, see house. See house. Hi. Big sis. Jehovah. Jehovah Lord. <laughs> Oh my days! Wow! 
What? Guys! Guys! Now we want to draw one of one! What the heck? God, I beg! I beg I need to make this money all big sis! I need to make this money like you! Who? This is your office? Yes. Wow! Now this is the, the queen's room. The queen's <laughs> room. Can you can you guys see that? It's mighty. It's mighty. Oh Lord. As queen. Jesus. Oh my God. This is how you should be stepping into your closet. <laughs> what the? What the? <laughs> Big sis. <laughs> Only perfume. <laughs> uh huh. You guys, you see that? Ooh, you see that? It's a smart toilet. Exactly. <laughs> Stress free. All right, so that's uh, Jackie Appiah's mansion. Now, it's since been trending on social media with some people asking about, you know, how she was able to put all of that together and some also defending her and, uh, you know, speaking in her favor. But whatever it is, man has got to live. And congratulations to Jackie Appiah for that beautiful, beautiful mansion. Uh, if you be on both take me. Anyway, that's all about what's trending this morning here on the show. Coming up, uh, Rosalind Felly takes the conversation on school feeding uh, here on the biggest conversation we're having this morning here on the show. Please stay with us. It's still Prime Morning and keep your comments coming through.